time. He had an open door policy. Uh, I had access uh, to his residence, the inside, all the rooms at any given time in the event there was an emergency or anything like that. And when traveling with Mr. Depp, was the access the same? It was. Um, I have access to his hotel room. Uh, again, if there's an emergency, um, I have, uh, you know, wherever he's at, uh, I make sure, and it's mandatory, that I and other security personnel have access to him. Jerry Judge used to be his chief security um, individual. He was with him uh, uh, well over 20 years, I believe, and we lost him a few years ago to cancer. Over the course of your employment with Mr. Depp, um, have you seen him consume alcohol? I have. How frequently? It ranged. Sometimes uh, I wouldn't see him drink at all, and there'd be other times he, you know, would have a glass of wine or two. And based on your observations, um, how would you describe Mr. Depp's demeanor after drinking alcohol? His demeanor you were talking to him, um, I would joke around with some of the other uh, security personnel. He's, you know, my terminology would be he's kind of too cool for school. He goes into that kind of Jack Sparrow mode and he just, you know, he's very likable, you know, whether he drinks or he doesn't drink. Based on your observations, have you ever seen Mr. Depp appear intoxicated? Objection leading. Overruled out a lot. I've seen him slightly intoxicated. And again, based on your observations, what is Mr. Depp's demeanor like when he appears slightly intoxicated? It's the same as if he, you know, had a glass of sparkling water. I mean, he's just very low key. He's easy to get along with. And, um, you know, he just seems to me, I mean, he handles alcohol a lot better than I would. And over the course of your employment with Mr. Depp, have you ever seen him consume drugs? I haven't. Are you generally aware that Mr. Depp has used drugs over the years? I am. And how are you aware of that? From him. Do you know who Ms. Hurd is? I do. Who is Ms. Hurd? She is Mr. Depp's ex-spouse. When did you first meet Ms. Hurd? Uh, it probably would have been uh, around 2011, 12 maybe, maybe around 2010, it was some time ago. Um, she was very pleasant, um, very easy to get along with. Uh, I mean, she was almost as if she was a, a next door neighbor, just always had a smile to her face and um, just, um, you know, just, you know, no issues at the time, and you know, I liked her, liked her a lot. I did. How frequently? In the early stages, it was um, kind of on a part time basis because a lot of times, um, you know, he was traveling or he was out of town working on films and so forth. But when they were in LA, I saw them quite frequently, which could have been the days that I worked, which varied um, anywhere between four, five, six days a week. And based on what you observed of them together, how would you describe Ms. Hurd's relationship with Mr. Depp when they first started seeing each other? Yes. Objection, foundation. All right, foundation. Your Honor, I, I believe I've laid the foundation that he saw them frequently together when they first started dating. How he would describe their relationship is All right. the foundation. Uh, I'll sustain the objection, next question. After Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd started a romantic relationship, um, did you become familiar with any of Ms. Hurd's family or friends? I did. After Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd started a romantic relationship, um, did you become familiar with any of Ms. Hurd's family or friends? I did. Which ones? Uh, her sister, um, Whitney Hurd. Um, her good friend, um, Raquel, or Rocky Pennington. Um, another friend, Io Tillett-Wright. Family and friends? I did. 
and how would you generally describe their interactions? Um, he was very open and warm to them. He, you know, offered them, you know, uh, whatever they needed. They were constantly coming around the estate. Um, you know, eventually he let a couple of them live in his penthouses downtown for free. He would let them, a few of them, drive his nice um, Dodge Challenger in and around town and take on trips. Did you have an opportunity to observe how Ms. Hurd's friends and families treated Mr. Depp? I did. Um, they were obviously very pleasant to him because I, you know, I, from observing, they were taking advantage of him. So they were being obviously extra nice to the hand that feeds them. And that's just progressed over a period of time. Uh, can you describe any particular one that stands out to you? Objection, Your Honor. Leading calls for hearsay. All right. Well, to the extent, Your Honor, we're offering misheard statements, it's not hearsay. All right. Um, well, if you can lay a foundation to that. Do you recall any specific instances, Mr. Bed, where um, you heard Ms. Hurd say something to her friends? I do. Okay. Can you describe one of those situations? Yes. Um, the first one, I was taking her from um, Mr. Depp's property to uh, her apartment um, in the south end of the city that I believe Mr. Depp was paying for. She was sitting next to me in the vehicle. Um, she was talking to a girlfriend or a friend where they were talking about another male. And she says to the friend, girlfriend, whoever she was talking to, you know, all men are idiots. You know, you shouldn't trust that guy. And then she turned to me and she said, you know, sorry, Sean, not you. I didn't mean that. And I just shrugged it off like it's not a big deal. Do you remember approximately when that, that conversation took place? I would say probably maybe 2012 or 13, perhaps, perhaps even um, a little bit sooner than that. It was a long time ago. And over the years of Ms. Hurd's and Mr. Dabb's relationships, um, did you have an opportunity to observe how the relationship evolved? I did. And well, I'll just see what the next question is. That's fine. Um, did you notice any changes in the relationship between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd? Objection, vague, foundation, relevance, and leading. All right, well, I'll, I'll allow it if you could get a timeline set in there, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Did you notice any changes in the relationship between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd after the initial stages of them beginning to engage in a romantic relationship? I did. And would you please describe those changes that you observed? Well, I noticed they went from being that loving, almost like high school couple where they were very giddy towards each other. He was very happy. She was very happy to, they started to argue. Um, they started to argue periodically and then the arguing uh, started to progress more and more and more. And uh, it was always taking place because, you know, Ms. Hurd would start this argument. Did you ever observe uh, Ms. Hurd drink alcohol? I did. How often? It just varied. Uh, there would be, you know, some days when I was working that I would see her. There would be other days I didn't see her or she was out of town working. So it just really depended on when she was around. And when she was around, for the most part, you know, she was drinking. You know, sometimes I'd see a glass in her hand and sometimes I'd see her, you know, have two glasses if I was in the presence of her and Mr. Depp, obviously. Based on your observations, did it ever appear that Ms. Hurd was intoxicated? There were times when I went into the penthouse or we were at the Hollywood estate and, you know, based on my training experience in law enforcement, I could tell she was you know, slightly intoxicated. So, excuse me? So that's kind of getting, uh, getting into the realm of expert testimony. He's not a designated expert. Perhaps we can have him answer the question without any citing to any experience in, in law enforcement, Mr. Bett? Uh, I'll just say the objection. Let's go to the next question. Okay. Understood. Do you recall approximately the time frame of that argument? As far as the year or how long it lasted? I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Bett. The year. Um, that could have been perhaps 2012, 2013. 
maybe a little thereafter. Did Miss Hurd ever confide in you about her relationship with Mr. Depp? Uh, briefly. Do you recall her saying anything particular about her relationship with Mr. Well, Depp? There was a couple of occasions. There was one occasion in which they had an argument um, at his West Hollywood address. Um, Johnny told me, you know, just take her down downtown to the penthouse so she can relax and cool off. Um, as we were driving downtown, you know, she was crying. This was at the point when uh, the, the arguing was taking place quite frequently. And I was telling her, I, you know, I said, Amber, you know, this can't continue. You guys are either going to kill each other or you're going to be in jail. And, you know, with tears and everything, she says, but I love him and uh, I'm not going to lose him. And I says, but you guys can't keep doing this. Um, so we eventually got to the downtown apartments. You know, she said, thank you. I dropped her off. Um, and then I went back to the West Hollywood address. Fat ass, fuck you, Johnny, and you too, Sean. Uh, at one time when, you know, she went to throw a, a water bottle or a plastic cup down the stairs and it bounced kind of in Johnny's direction, but I ended up getting him and we, you know, got out of there as soon as possible. Did you ever see Miss Heard throw anything other than a water bottle? It was a water bottle or a coffee cup. It was something plastic. Other than a water bottle or a plastic cup, did you ever see Miss Heard throw anything else? Uh, no, other than what he told me when she threw a broken bottle and there sliced his finger. And... Sir, I'll sustain the objection. The jury will strike that that testimony. Please just answer the question asked, and when there's an objection, do not speak, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. After observing several arguments between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd, what happened next? Uh, as far as a time frame, um, well, as I said, the arguing, when it would continue, we would always, you know, I'd put him in the car and we'd drive back to his West Hollywood address. Did you ever see any violence between Ms. Hurd and Mr. Depp? No. Other than the occasion when you saw Ms. Hurd throw something plastic in Mr. Depp's direction, did you ever see Ms. Hurd hit Mr. Depp? No. Did you ever see any physical injuries on Ms. Hurd? I didn't. Did you ever see any physical injuries on Ms. Hurd on occasions after Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd argued? Objection, Your Honor. Foundation. All right. If you want to lay a time frame to that. Absolutely. Yes, sir. On the occasions that you witnessed Ms. Hurd and Mr. Depp argue, after that, did you ever see any physical injuries on Ms. Hurd? That's it's the, the same point. question. Okay. All right. Move on. Okay. At any point during, during Ms. Hurd's and Mr. Depp's relationship, did you ever see any injuries on Ms. Hurd? No. How about on Mr. Depp? Yes. When did you observe injuries on Mr. Depp? Uh, the first time would have been around um, 2014, I guess, um, in which he had a, uh, his finger was damaged from uh, an incident in Australia. A swollen kind of cheekbone eyelid. Your Honor, if I may please pull up a photograph, exhibit number 146. Okay, just to the witness? Okay, just for the witness, that's okay. correct. I'm sorry, 146? Yes, thank okay, you, Your thank Honor. you. And that's plaintiffs, obviously, plaintiffs. exhibit 146. Mr. Bett, do you recognize this photograph? I do. And how do you recognize it? Because I took that picture. Why did you take this photograph? 
Well, we needed it as evidence in case um, um, Ms. Hurd tried to make allegations uh, towards Mr. Depp. I was emphatic with him, telling him that's a serious mark and we need to photograph it. I just... 146? No, Your Honor. All right, 146 in evidence and be published to the jury. Thank you. Mr. Bett, uh, what does this photograph show? It depicts a uh, swollen upper left cheekbone with uh, redness to it. Thank you. Did you notice any other injuries on Mr. Depp? On that specific day, no. It was around uh, December of that same year, 2015. Um, he uh, got into an argument with Ms. Hurd and she scratched him and he had injuries. Objection, Your Honor. Sustain the objection, only your observation, sir, what you saw. Yeah. All right, thank you. Mr. Bett, can you please describe the injury that you saw on, on Mr. Depp? 